Okay, everyone, welcome to my mod. Yes, this is why I've been so busy the last couple of days. Because I've been modding. This is a very short and sweet mod. Um, this mod involves... Um, involves the original cave story, the free... The Japanese freeware game, not the one, not the Cave Story Plus. Mouse, what are you doing? This laptop thing, can, this laptop built-in mouse thing can be a little bit annoying. So, without further ado, let's get in. Oh, one second, let me fix that. All right, let's try that again. Sorry, that was um, me trying to make a new room, but as you see, it epically fails. This I have not edited at all. Well, I have edited the room a little bit, but I haven't edited the text. Blah, 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 we can all skip this. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. See how it's not called Star Point? It's called Awakening Point. Save so we don't have to go through that Kazuma cutscene again. Trust me, I hate playing through this area. All because of those Kazuma cutscenes. And these are called Mamiga Caves, and I cannot fix this. I tried and tried and tried, but I cannot fix that door. And now, you see, there's a wall blocking you. This may be a lot. Trust me, this place looks a little bit different from the original. Now you see, those are bricks instead of brick. Nothing changes with the entities until Egg Corridor. Alright, why did my laptop do that? boring part. I haven't really done too much in them. In my mica caves. Now, let's talk to the hermit. Please steal my gun. Okay, sir. He's gonna be ticked off later. But I'm gonna just tell him one thing. You told me to. I'm going to transition. You got, I'm going to play with my keyboard on my laptop. <laughs> Sue, please respond. They're looking for you. Are you asleep? Your friend is so lonely. Apparently, I have edited the text. Where did I edit the text? Where? Um, I don't know. One second, let me get my developer tool out. Alright, there we go. You're dead. Yo, dead. Yo, dead. Yo, dead. Yo dead. Yep, this is the power of my developer tool. Not what I developed the game with. It's what I used to test drive the game with. You die. Turn invincibility off. Alright, invincibility is off. Sue, answer me, I'm so hungry. There's nothing to eat, and I've been reduced to feeding on cockroaches. 
Yes, it's kind of strange how the text was before Cave Story Plus. But sometimes I like the original text better. Oops. Probably made a very bad noise. Alright, Taroko, hand over the key. Why? It's to save Sue. Seriously? And it's spelled incorrectly on purpose. Taroko, why would I ever lie? Now, Taroko. Okay, here. What? Dot. Dot. Hmm, that's kind of funny. I don't know how to fix that dot thing, but it's funny. Oh, dot. What? You're not an enemy. I thought for sure it was them. I'm king. I'm number one in this village. Not that means a whole lot with only seven of us left. That's right, he said seven. Not in Sue is part of the village. You see, Sue is human still. She's just got she just got washed up here. As the this guy says is that Sue got washed up here. I decided to make it the, so she got amnesia when she got washed up here, so she doesn't know she's a human. But Kazuma and Booster had visited her recently, so she calls them friends instead of family. Sue? Yeah, I know her. That's the cute girl who stays cooped up in Arthur's house. All the time, right? She showed up here not too long ago. We found her washed up right here in the reservoir. She does seem to like us. And before you, Yosemite says, she doesn't seem to like us. And let's grab the sparkly stuff. Now you see how some of the reservoir is blacked off? Blacked off? Blocked off? Guess what? This is the original, so I can't, so I don't have to spare the egg fish. Um, how some of it is locked off in the original? Well, that is because mm, well, it's how is it blocked off? It's because this also leads to Grass Town. I haven't implemented it yet in the Grass Town, but I am going to before I release it. I just need to figure out how signs work. Give me the key. Give me the key. He's after me. Torco. He. <laughs> yes. Torco has a house instead of a shack. Taroko's house, or what's left. Now you see this door? I'm gonna, I had a lot of doors that you can't go into. You epic jerk! <laughs> Say, help me, help me! Huh? You're, you're not with the doctor? Oh, I'm sorry. You had me worried. The doctor's such a mean guy. Popping up in our village and taking us away. Sometimes even killing us. Like my brother. He killed my brother. Oh. That pendant. You found it for me. Sue gave that to me. Well, I don't need it anymore. She gave me a better one. You can have it. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Help! Help! She's after me! Wait, you're red. Oh, I hate red! Ah, uh, stop that. Indeed you do.
You hate red and its guts. Misery, spare me. Not misery. Oh, so you're Sue, eh? The doctor has called for you. Come along now. Help me! I'm not Sue! Hey, how did the bubble go through me? Yeah! Nemesis? Yes, Balrog's name has turned into Nemesis, and he's not with the doctor until later. Kill the red one! No, wait! You've got the wrong! <clears throat> I hate red! Are you going... You are going to die! Huzzah! Wait. Should I spare you? Yes, spare me. No! Epic fail. You are... You epic jerk! Fought off nemesis. Alright, now, for the first, are all the way up, alright, for the first couple of bosses, I've given you the ability to break the boss. You see, if you somehow manage to get Balrog into this corner, his, he won't be smart enough to get out, so you can just sit up here and shoot him away. And I have level 3 pea shooter because I am... Um, because I have my developer tool. And of course, now King really needs that key. But it's not to save Sue. King finally snaps. Oh, maybe we should talk to West. Jack first. <laughs> That's how you trigger. What? Oracle's being kidnapped? Oh no! I got to tell the king. Right away. Okay, I could have given him a better voice. What? Toroko's been kidnapped? We have to inform King right away. Toroko! I can't believe it. For her, this all began with Suke. It must be her fault. Mm, when I get my hands on. I think King just broke down. She lives here like everyone else. Besides, she couldn't have caused this. True. Alright, now let's go see what changes I did to the cemetery. I did the cemetery after Egg Corridor, so. Yes, I've added. You, sir! You, sir! Now, as you see, I changed up the graves a little bit. There's no broken graves. There's just, they're all regular graves, no broken ones. There may be cracked ones, but there's no broken ones. And Arthur's grave is a big giant Mimica statue. Arthur's grave. There's writing on his chest. Here sleeps the noble Arthur, true hero of the Mamaigas. You got the Arthur key. Oh wait, I forgot to look at Yashima. Death trap. I've added a wall here. For all the flowers. And of course, you can't just live, breathe, eat, and sleep, right? It's 
I'll ride it this thing. So, beyond the heart capsule, I've added the entrance to his house. Just the entrance, though. And of course, Mamiga can walk across this things you can't walk across. I'm seeing I'm about to jump into right there. Not the fence, what what's below the fence. Uh oh whatever. <coughs> Also, I only changed one line of his text. Instead of saying substance, he says food. <coughs> if you know the original game, he'll say a substance instead of food. <coughs> I've just noticed. These aren't Mamaika statues. These are Jinka's puppy statues. <coughs> Yep, there's no more cave section. And plus, you can walk through this wall. Let's save. Alright, all saved. Of course, because I have. Let's get rid of our lock level. Yes, I want to print the teleportation. Alright, egg corridor. Let's just say it got a little bit wackier. This is where I learned how to add delete entities. And how to revamp. And I can go on the top way or the bottom way. I made it so you can go all the way up to Igor through the bottom way. Now you can see, the, we start at egg 19, not egg 16. So we're a whole three eggs behind. The life caps, which I'm not gonna bother getting. a house down there. I like doing houses too. In secret passages. I don't think there's any secret passages in the corridor. Careful, that basil is instant kill. This is where the instant kill comes back to taunt you. Fortunately, it didn't come back to taunt me. 16. Alright. 15 is in good condition. And look, you don't have to cross the wall to get to Sue. There you are, you monster. I'm not afraid of you. Ooh, What's that? You want to bring? Go ahead and try. Even my friends never beat me. Oh, oof, you went. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh huh? Who are you? Arrgh. Arrgh, ha ha. I'll come back for the red one later. It's kind of cool how he's like patting Sue. And of course, how he manages to travel faster off screen is a mystery to me. And of course, as you see, egg 14 and egg 15 were completely fine, but then egg 13, hmm, is cracked suspiciously.
Alright, there's not too much change from the food we wanted. You see that egg is an entirety now. Not a half tirety. I think this is egg six. Yes, it is. This is egg six, but it says egg. Mouse, go away. Come on, Basil. When you're a developer, you really learn names of the NPCs and the enemies. Because you get to hear and see text that the public doesn't normally see in telecredits. Going to die. Now that we're approaching egg number one, you're like, where are all the other eggs? That's a secret for me to know and for you to find out. Yeah. I beat him. I defeated the evil dragon. And of course, there's supposed to be three. Remember how I pointed out in my um, hard video? There's one right here. Guess what? It's right here too. Apparently not right here or right here. I remember the text saying there was one right there too. We're... Mm. Oh, you're stubborn. Let me shoot you. Oh, no way. This is my ride. <laughs> Egg. Enter the egg. Wait, I haven't saved since Arthur's house. Let's make it so I don't have to save until Arthur's house. Now you see, this mod goes all the way up until the core. And then it stops. Yep. Where all the eggs are hidden is the ability to break the boss. He cannot get at you here. At all. Yep, that's how good breaks were. Only, but it's only in the, for its beginning bosses because trust me, I had as much health as you could get. To be honest, I had as much health as you could get it for Igor, and I still had three HP left when the first time I played through this game. So this mod is kind of recommended for noobs. Of course, you said you were missing some experience, huh? Well, guess what? I got it right here. Also, I would not recommend walking off the sides of anywhere. Or the bottoms of anywhere. Trust me, those ends up with a bad fate. Let's go into here. Erg. Oh, I forgot. You know how she gets angry at you whether you say yes or no? 
guess what? If you say yes, she'll be. She won't get mad at you. Apparently, she's trying to eat, escape the island because of all the critters. Right now, I'll be right back. Professor's laboratory. Um, as you may figure out with this mod, I like to make ruins. <laughs> uh, yeah. You see, Igor's master is the professor. Don't spit on my monitor. And the professor, well, uh, Igor worked for the professor, and eventually the professor died of old age. But, no wait, the, let's start from the beginning. Igor worked for, the, uh, one day the professor was working with dragon eggs. He needed some help, then, so he got an Igor. Literally, his name is Igor. <laughs> um, so, after he got Igor, um, um, he, he, they worked together and they really developed a relationship. But then his master died, but Igor had already overdosed on red flowers. So, so he didn't notice his master died. So yeah. So he still thinks his master is alive, just not with him. How that works, I don't know. I bet you they have those vents up there just so these big guys can get through. I died. Oh well. I've done all the way up to the core. You die if you try to get past the core, and that's about it. So, I shall see. Hello, I fast forwarded back to the realm of the developer. If you somehow manage to survive, this is what you get. You still get to go to your bag. Oh, I forgot to close it, then reopen it. Then boost your health. Alright, there we go. Now my developer tool's working. Infinite booster! There's only one problem I have. Whenever you're invincible, your bubbler hates you. Now you know how I've been doing one fortress lately. How am I doing this? Alright. Now you see, Cthulhu's abode. Ag, what the heck? Has turned into Wind Fortress A prototype with lots of epic fail. Now you see, this is here because whenever you go into the top area, you spawn up here. Now let's look around a little bit. This looks a lot like the original Wind Fortress from Cave Story Plus. But as you can see, it's different, and there's different music playing, but you obviously you can't hear it. Alright, got the Flying Gowdy. Do not like the Flying Gowdy from Lynn Fortress. You got the Life Capsules in the same spot. Life Capsules? I just said Life Capsules. Energy. You got the purple critters in the same spot. You 
yep. This area looks a lot like the original. I'm thinking he's gonna fall all back eventually. Alright, I travel here. This literally is as far as I can go. Then I weep. Also, you may be looking at a bug. Like the back. Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. It's an issue with the editor, not with the game. Yes, I've been talking about a lot of errors in this video. This is my first mod. Also, once the full version comes out and you do manage to get to Ecuador, question mark. This will not be accessible. Wait a second, do those energy capsules give off XP? They don't. Ooh. They don't. That is not visible. No, I have. Issues. With something. I don't remember what I was going to say. That must be a sign I must end the video now. Alright. This 100 video special is not on Freeware, DSi, and Wii, and Plus. And plus, my doors don't work. Get it? Plus. <sighs> I have big fail.